So what do students tend to find most stressful or difficult about group exercises? I think the nature of a group exercise is there's an element of the unknown because mm. you don't know who's going to be in your group and what they're going to be like. So you're kind of going into it a little bit blind um, and you're going to have to respond to however that scenario comes out. I think it's always helpful if you can, if you're in a kind of waiting room beforehand to try and get to know people a little bit better so you're not going in you know, completely cold um, with the people that you're working with. I mean, ultimately you're all trying to get hired and ultimately if you all perform well, mm. there's no reason why you won't all get hired. Um, so actually remembering that this is designed to test your collaboration and teamwork um, is really important. So um, not looking at it like I've got to be better than everyone else in the room. It should be about how do I help everyone get the best out of them. So spotting that quiet person and saying, well, what's your view? Or if someone's really dominating, saying, okay, you know, I've heard what you're saying, but maybe we should listen to some of the other people in the room as well. So really trying to kind of demonstrate that collaboration is really important. So it seems that you can walk into an assessment centre feeling much more confident with you know, how your performance in the group exercise might go if you've done maybe some, some, some background thinking about how to communicate empathetically and to, to, to co communicate collaboratively as well. So there's nice phrases like, I hear what you're saying, but would you, would you, could you see it? I mean, I see it differently, but perhaps we could, you know, with those kind of phrasings could be really helpful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, you know, not interrupting, um, not kind of trying to dominate, really being aware of who, you know, making sure that everyone gets the opportunity to speak, I think is a, a, a skills that will really stand in good stead for a group exercise. Yeah. So, the, so the leadership element almost in a group exercise is how do you bring, how do you contribute to a discussion that brings the best out of the individuals in that group almost? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So zooming out a little bit, so to the kind of whole experience of an assessment centre, what what are recruits is looking for in general, and and what would impress you? I think in general the assessment centre is there to really look at whether a candidate is going to be able to um, succeed in a company. So um, there may be an element of uh, technical assessment so that could be on an individual exercise or it could be within an interview kind of probing around your your skills and experiences um, it could be assessing kind of core skills and strengths so um, looking at um, how you respond in certain situations and it's also going to be looking at how you, likely you are to be able to work with others because ultimately when we come into um, a company we're not going to be sat in a room by ourselves um, doing a job we're going to have to work with others so you know that's why something like a group exercise is so critical um, for a company to be able to assess because really you can't prepare for it you're going in and, and they're looking at well how do they behave in this unusual or unknown scenario and how you know you're much more likely to show your true self I think in a group exercise and that's why it's such a vital element of the assessment centre. Oh because it's got that kind of that's a time pressure element so you you need to reach an outcome by a particular point, so so it, it allows people to, to to kind of demonstrate how they deal with pressure almost, yeah. and that that's such a key thing to to be able to, to kind of convey to a potential recruiter. Yes, and also because there's a lot there's a lot of a, a selection process that you can prepare for, so mm. you can prepare for an interview to an extent, um, but. But in life, when you go into a job, you're not always going to have all of the information. You're not always going to be fully prepared for a meeting and you're going to have to work with people that you've never worked with before. So to an extent, these, these exercises all simulate some of the core skills that you're going to need to be to be successful in the job. So looking to before the day itself, what, uh, what would be your top tips for preparing for an assessment centre? So I think there's... There's quite a lot that you can do beforehand uh, to demonstrate you are interested in the company you're going to be assessed by. So there's always going to be an element within an assessment centre about why, are you, why do you want this role? Um, so being able to talk about the company and why specifically that motivates you is, is something you can do and you can you know, do that research beforehand. Um, doing a bit of kind of 
internal audit about what do I think my skills are and how do they align to this company or how would they benefit this company um, is, is really good preparation. So just sitting down with a big piece of paper and going, okay, what, what am I good at and, and how is that relevant to this company? So being able to kind of link me to the company. Um, and then I think the rest of it is really just down to being yourself, not playing a part. I think the worst thing you can do is kind of go into an exercise thinking this is how they want me to be because that will always come across as uh, slightly false or disingenuous. So I think you know, knowing that ultimately it's me that's got to work for this company. So this is who I am. This is why I'm interested. These are the skills that I can bring. And, and, and being able to kind of articulate that and bring that to the table is what's ultimately going to make sure you get the right job. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's like so owning that preparation from a position of what are my strengths, how do those map on to what the company's looking for and this, what this role will ask of me. Once I've asked, answered those questions and got my head around the reality that I'm going to be put under pressure, I'm going to be asked to collaborate and communicate with people that I don't know, um, and I'm going to be facing a few unknown tasks. So get your head around those sort of different sort of trickier elements, then let go and just go and go for it and be yourself. I think the other thing to remember is that the recruiters that are running the exercise are experts in finding the right talent and finding the people with the potential to be successful and if you're you're not right for them you don't have the skills it, it's in your interest not to be successful as well mm -hmm. because ultimately this is where you're starting your career and you want that to be the right role so if you're not successful at an assessment centre absolutely ask for feedback you know find out where you went wrong if it's something that is was it an error that you made or something you can learn from take that on board but also I suppose release it to the kind of you know um, the recruiters to know uh, what's going to work for them and, and what's right for their company because you want to make sure that that first role for you is the, the perfect role and the one that you're going to thrive in. Absolutely.